Google's future Nexus 7 gets some leaked specifications. Verizon's HTC One gets leaked renders and a possible release date. And the iPhone 5S seems to be all about LTE Advanced. I'm Jaime Rivera. And the million dollar question I have for you is if you remember what you did this weekend, because I don't. And this is Pocket Now Daily. I'm going to call this rumor day and you're going to see why. Let's start it off with Apple as we've got some more information on the iPhone 5S. We know it's going to get some enhancements in the camera and the battery, but apparently the company is also working on bringing LTE Advanced as a standard on this phone. And judging by the fact that T-Mobile and other carriers are confirming that they're going to have LTE Advanced by the end of this year, uh, that is good news. Now let's talk about Verizon and HTC as I know many of you are waiting for the one to reach Big Red because the droid DNA is sadly not cutting it anymore. So far, well, it seems that we have some leaked press renders of this phone and it's got a September 5th date on the display, which usually leaks the date that the phone is going to get released. So I know it's going to be a long wait, but for many of you, it's worth it. As long as the HTC 2 doesn't make it before that. And for those of you waiting for the Galaxy Note 3, most of us were speculating that Sammy was going to hold a separate event as they've had with pretty much every Galaxy that they launched this year. But as it turns out, some leaks say that it's going to be announced on September 4th. And that happens within IFA in Berlin, which is the time that every Galaxy Note has been launched in the past. So we're going to be at IFA. And regardless if they're going to have a separate event or an event within IFA, we're going to be there. So stay tuned. And if there's one tablet that I'm waiting for this year is Google's future Nexus 7. I don't know what we're waiting for, but as it turns out, we've got some leaked specifications from an employee at ASUS, and it's going to have a 1980 by 1200 display. 32 gigabytes of storage will apparently be standard now. And as it turns out, we are going to get a back 5 megapixel camera as well, along with other specifications. Links down below for full details and descriptions on these specifications. And Android 4.3 will definitely make it. The question is when? And finally, for the hot rumor of the day, because it's all been rumors, well, we've got some leaked press renders of the Sony Onami, and even though it does seem quite simplistic on the photo, um, wait a second, there's a ROM dump from this phone, and listen to this. You get a Snapdragon 800, but you get a 20 megapixel camera on this phone. And no, forget about the 20 megapixels. Apparently, this camera is capable of filming in 4K resolution. That means 4 times 1920 by 1080. That is amazing, really amazing. It would be pretty much the first phone that's able to film in 4K resolution, even if I'm probably not going to be able to afford one of those TVs for the next five years. But anyways, that leads me to the question of the day. Would 4K filming and a 20 megapixel camera make you consider Sony as they really haven't taken off in their Xperia lineup lately? In my particular case, I would love the idea of having it. I just don't know if I'll be able to actually watch it for the next half decade, as I said. But anyways, leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Of course, as always, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.